Hi, this is Sean, and I'm going to work with you on some writing skills on the essay and share with you some expressions for making an impression so that you can write like an advanced pro. You need to just select a few of these that I show you and use them, incorporate them, and it will help you a lot. Getting started in an essay, you can start off with a phrase like, it is often claimed that. Or you may decide to quote someone, such as Henry Ford. Henry Ford once said, or many people contend that, or finally, we often hear that. So I'm going to use these very serious phrases and mix them together with the fluffiness of marshmallows, just to give you a fun topic for today. It is often claimed that nothing could possibly be fluffier than a marshmallow. Henry Ford once said, riding in a Ford is like floating on a marshmallow cloud. Or many people contend that the marshmallow, besides being a marvelous type of candy, is the fluffiest candy in existence. Or we often hear that marshmallows were born in the clouds, a fact which I am sure most enthusiasts agree with. Okay, once we've started off and made some sort of impact in our beginning, then we can link the beginning with our main point, that marshmallows have another bigger value, virtue. While it is true that the marshmallow holds a place in most people's hearts, it is a, it's the amazing nutritional value that sets it ahead of all other foods. Or not only do marshmallows make mouths water, but they also capture the imagination of youngsters around the world. Okay, um, we may have started out with something that wasn't so positive, but we want to underline the importance of something, such as our marshmallow. So we could say something like, that may well be so, but surely we can look past the high sugar content to recognize the psychological healing powers encapsulated in each puffy bite. Or, in fact, marshmallows have caught the world by storm and are cherished by every man, woman, and child who has learned of their magical powers. Magic, the lost art, seems to have come back to life. Okay, so we've started off very well, we've given our main point, and now we could go into our second paragraph, or somewhere in our second paragraph, and give opinions. I can honestly say that, in my view, or as I see it. So I can honestly say that anyone who has never tried a marshmallow before has not fully realized what it is to live. In my view, marshmallows have long suffered from a lack of appreciation of this sublime expression of taste and texture that they embody. As I see it, the list of virtues is getting wonderfully imaginative. Don't you think? Now, once I've given my opinions, I might like to make some additional points, perhaps from the more factual standpoint. So I can use four expressions, which are also very good for other types of writing. In addition to this, furthermore, moreover, and what is more? Keep in mind these are formal and they're very good. Then I might like to wish, I may wish to express contrast. On the other hand, however, whereas, having said that, so these would all show a different viewpoint. But then I'm getting to the end of my essay and I want to conclude, and I want to sort of weigh everything and bring it all together. So I can use two phrases. One is on balance, and another one is taking everything into consideration. So on balance, the magical powers of the marshmallow far outweigh the eminent dangers that marshmallows pose for your dental hygiene, which could be fixed through a bit of conjuring and incantations. Taking everything into consideration, more government funding should be provided to marshmallow factories which have plans for further development. Okay, so this is starting off your conclusion. Now, what is your last sentence or sentences? Well, I like to round off my essay with a quote or a profound thought. I've invented a quote today from Churchill. As Churchill said, a man without a food he loves is no man at all. Thus, I am of the mind that, and then I would talk about marshmallows. Or with a profound thought, I would do this. 
So little thought is put into the happiness that comes to us in such small packages, while so much energy, money, and attention goes to chemical warfare set to kill and tear us apart. Therefore, the marshmallow shall long stand as a symbol of unity and peace. Okay, so we've rounded it off. Now let's be serious. Going to the back of your course book, of course, you have the serious examples, also an exam task. But do try these out. Put them into your essay. There are phrases that you can use again and again. So, so go back, watch again, and jot down a few that you'll select and use to write like a pro.